what's up guys welcome or welcome back to the channel so this is episode three season one so so far this season we've built out our infrastructure we've looked at our server we install the a6 on our server we install uh vcenter on our server everything is ready for us to start building on it and remember this episode is more so focused on us building things manually right we're going to build everything manually and then we're just going to walk away up season one so also building things manually and in season two we start learning a lot about the automation tool i'm mean, pretty excited about season, season two because there's a lot of new things that i'm going to learn there as well so but anyways that's <laughs> that's for the next season but for this season um we have our infrastructure set up but now we're going to talk about what are we going to start building on the server i want to build something that resembles a small office and control application server and all this fun stuff that people normally have in a small office and we're going to try to understand each concept as we go along and i'm pretty excited about this because i'm also going to use it as a form of learning a lot of the things at work that i don't get to touch for example if something is set up at work i don't get to touch it that's going to make it into this environment for me to build it out and probably even talk about it with you guys and kind of learn together as we go along so in this episode we are going to draw out an initial uh, environment map of some of the things that we want to start building out now just keep in mind that this is going to grow um, as we go along because as i said uh, as i see other people touch new things that work but i didn't get a chance to touch it uh, i would include it in the map and the idea is i'm going to draw this initial map i'm going to put it on the website so for those of you guys that want to kind of look at it and kind of follow along you're welcome to go there and then just kind of look at it and as i add new things to it um i will update the map and then update it on my website so your link will be in the description box below for you to go check it out but uh enough talking so let's roll the intro clip when we come back we're going to talk all about it okay guys so let's go ahead and start talking about what we're going to start building out in season one but before i start talking about this i wanted to kind of talk about the idea behind season one so the idea behind season one is to get going right we don't want to over complicate things a lot we want to start building some of the basic stuff and start understanding some of this concept and understanding them in a deeper level and this build out is going to start to get us to understand those things setting up our network setting up our domain controller and setting up different components of our domain controller is that to understand how those components kind of interact with other different components in our environment or the different uh servers and environments and all that stuff so this is what this diagram is based off of is to start kinking things off and setting up making it as small as possible and then scaling from there and learning a new learning new concept as we go along right so and that's the goal behind season one in season one we're going to build something small and we're going to try to understand all of the little concept at a good level like at, at a deep level so we understand what they are and in season two, we're going to learn how do we automate that process? So how do we go from like, we had to manually set up everything. Now, how do we automate it? So maybe like 80% or 90% or maybe even 50% of what we had to do in season one, we don't do it manually anymore in season two. And that's that touching into the DevOps part of things. And then season three could be something like now that we've learned how to build, we understand concept and we've learned how to automate a lot of things. How do we move our environment because everything is moving to the cloud we move this this environment that we have and again the environment is going to get complicated as each season goes whatever we don't add in season one might be added in season two right season three will probably be how do we take this environment and move it to azure and season four probably how do we take this environment and move it to aws so other way around whichever one comes first right whichever one i decide to come first i just want to kind of preference this this video before i <laughs> forget into it i wanted to make it as small as possible and then kind of scale out as we go along and even during the season if we think that we need to add some Thing, it will be added into the diagram and then I'll put it on my website. Let's start off with the domain controller. So we're going to set up a domain controller. We're going to call this dev2. Next environment is dev3, dev4, so on and so forth. Uh, the dev2 environment, we're going to start up with a domain controller. The 2016, server 2016, the reason being that eventually throughout the season, I do want to upgrade from 2016 to maybe 2019 or whatever it is that we're going to upgrade it to. And that alone could be a project on its own from going from 2016, from Windows Server 2016 to a different Windows Server version. We're going to set up a domain controller. This it's going to be some sort of a replication we're going to set up two um well, we're going to set up one domain controller but it's going to be some sort of replication between um the two domain controllers that we're going to set up right so now adcs we're going to buy adcs we're going to set that up adds so we get a 30 uh, directory service we're going to learn about dhcp we're going to learn about dns we're going to learn about group policy how to be able to better manage other vms and servers that we have in our environment that's one thing that we're going to set up here which is the domain controller from there we're probably going to set up an application server most environments that you go to you will have something like the domain controller and then you have an application server which houses either the proprietary application that uh company is using 
or some other application that is installed that is needed for people to use in that environment. We're going to have like an application server and that application server, you have something like Tomcat or IIS or some other stuff that you install on it and some other application that runs on top of like maybe Tomcat or IIS and all this other stuff. As I build things out, I'm going to talk about more. I'm going to go into detail more as to which components is going to be installed on uh, which server. Uh, but for now, I just wanted to kind of give like the very high level view of things. You have the Tomcat application we have two servers and because there's going to be some sort of cluster here and we're going to talk about like how to set up a cluster and things like that um and then of course we're going to have some sort of a sql server that's going to house a lot of the data going to be hosted that's going to be generated by the application server a lot of the time where you have an application server set up you have some sort of data that's being generated by the user or whichever way the application server is being used. You have something that uh, data that's been generated and stored in the SQL server. So we're going to learn how to set up the SQL server and make that connection between the SQL server and the application server. And we're going to have like a couple of VMs. Um, this could be like maybe servers or windows VMs, uh, which can be users VMs. If you, if you're in an environment where, um, it's user oriented or dev VMs, if you're in an environment where it's like a development environment. The interesting things about this is that it's pretty quick to, to uh, set up those kind of VMs. But if you're in an environment where it's in a development environment, then the different components that needs to be installed on the VM so the developers can be able to do what they need to do uh, to be able to interact with the application or build things on the application that resides on the application server. So the cool thing about this is that manually we'll go through and set those things up. But when we move on to season two and we start to learn how to automate things, it'll be interesting to start to look at like how do we automate the standup of a VM and automate all of the applications that need to be installed for that particular VM for particular developers or users and so on and so forth. That's why I'm really excited about season two because season one is just kind of building out this thing manually, but season two is like the automation part is what really gets me excited. So we're going to have a couple of VMs, could be three, could be four, but we're going to have a couple of them here. Another thing that we're going to have as well is like in most environments, you have like an update server, which kind of allows you to be able to maintain updates in your environment. So if you want to push out specific updates, you're going to be able to have that. So we're going to try to build that out to be able to see um, how that is set up. Um, another thing that I want to touch on with the update as well is sticking. So we're going to try to see if we can actually stick this environment. Um, um, sticking is pain, <laughs> but sticking is basically a way of like hardening your environment so that it's a lot more secure, uh, according to government rules and things like that. So it's going to be interesting to be able to stick again. If this is one of the reasons why I don't want to overcomplicate things. Like we don't want to build something that's so huge that it takes away from some of the components, the little components that we want to really start to understand, because I feel like in everything that you do, a lot of people that you talk to that have like, that are really good at what they do, they. Nobody ever start knowing everything, but what you want to do is that you want to start from the basic and that's always been my principle is like start from the simplest things and then try to understand them. Ask a lot of questions to yourself. If you're at work and you're working with someone that understand things a little bit better, ask a lot of like really interesting questions that kind of allows you to understand things at a deeper level. And nobody ever wake, wake up one morning and be like, yo, all of a sudden I'm a DevOps engineer and I know everything now, or I'm a system engineer and I know everything now. It doesn't work that way. You have to kind of give yourself time to learn some of the basic stuff, stuff, and then you kind of build on top of that. I, and then exchange server. Um, this one is interesting. Uh, my previous job, I played around with an exchange server, but I've never really set one up. So I definitely want to set one up in the season, kind of have that up and running and see what goes into a setting up an exchange server from scratch. I feel like that's going to be interesting. Uh, a learning experience going to be a pain, but it's going to be an interesting learning experience. And we're going to set it up to the point where it makes sense. Um, because if there's some sort of like monetary stuff involved in it, where we can't get past some level, uh, I don't want to be spending a lot of money on certain things, you know, so, but we're going to set it up. We're going to take it all the way to the point where we have a functional exchange server. So that's pretty much going to be how we're going to kick things off for season one. Again, it's not too complicated. And remember that, um, looking at like a quick overview of it, it's very small VMs. It doesn't seem like a lot, but the components of it are going to be interesting. Um, cause like for the domain controller, for example, we have a lot of stuff that we have to set up on the domain controller. So those are alone are going to be things that we're going to learn. Like ADCS in itself is 
certificate authority in itself is like certificate service certificate authority it's like one of those things where it can go so many ways and understanding that is just crucial when it comes to like working with things that you want to secure in your environment being able to troubleshoot a communication communication issue between one application and another being able to troubleshoot that is very vital and uh, um, uh, certificates can play a big role in that so understanding that is very important directory service ad uh, adds that's also a good one learn how to manage different different um, different components different users different groups in our environment dhcp that's very important as well you know, understanding dhcp and learning how it applies to our environment dns that's dns is very important you know <laughs> so understanding dns and how to set it up and how it applies to our environment. So group policy, understanding how group policy works and all this other stuff. So it might not seem like a lot, but the components that are involved uh, on the servers or needs to be installed on the servers, those are very crucial. They take time to understand them. So that's the part that we want to kind of be able to grasp a little bit more um, and focus on a little bit more because once we understand those concepts moving and building on top of that for us is going to be a lot more easier right so once we understand how certain things work and automating certain things gets easier because it was like oh okay this is how it works and this is the process of how it works automating it is just kind of like how do we create some sort of recipe for that process to kind of outline the whole thing so again nothing too complicated don't want to ever start anything and make it complicated uh, start things simple so your brain kind of just uh, be at peace with like, <laughs> you know, okay, this is not overly complicated. I can start with this. I can do this. And then as your brain understand one concept, you raise that level a little bit more, at least that's how the way I feel. And that's the way that I'm going to approach this whole kind of like building out series that, um, I want to unpack on is like start with some things that are very basic and then move to DevOps, understand DevOps, move to certain things and then understand that and then move to different components and then just kind of work your way up because mastery takes time, you know, it takes patience and it takes a lot of work. Um, so yeah, this is what we're going to build out. I just wanted to kind of explain this out a little bit. And if you guys have suggestions as to what are the components that we can add to our build out, please feel free to leave a comment below. I will try to see if it makes sense for us to add it and then I'll update it and I will put this on the website. The website, my website link is below. So I will add that, put that on the website so you can go check it out. If you also have an idea of what application, because I'm not 100% sure as to what application I'm going to install on top of Tomcat or whatever. If you have an application in mind that you think that we should probably play around with that needs some sort of like SQL server so we can have an understanding of how that communication happened. Hey, let me know. I would love to learn. Again, the, the idea behind this series is to learn and grow. If you have something that's free that we can use and be able to build upon, let me know. I would love to kind of get that idea of that. I will read up on it and we can build it out and uh, we can learn together and then kind of grow together. That's pretty much it, guys. I don't want to make this video too long. Yeah, this is the map out of the environment. We're going to start building our things and uh, it's going to be fun. Okay, so that's pretty much it, guys. So as I said, it's not overly complicated right now. It's something that's uh, extremely straightforward right now. But as new things come up, I will add it to this environment before we go into season two and just kind of make things maybe a little bit more complicated as time goes on but we we'll start from the basic we we'll start from the bottom up understand all the concepts that we don't understand at a deeper level and then walk our way up and then things get complicated from there right so thank you guys for watching as always don't forget to stay geeky and if you have a suggestion leave it in the comment box below if you have a question leave it in the comment box below i'll try my very best life gets busy but i'll try my very best to respond to you guys and help out as much as i can because we're all in this journey together so thank you guys for watching don't forget to stay geeky I'll see you guys in the next one.